Our reporter Joseph Armstrong has been monitoring the headquarters whose houses have been raised and uh, like we mentioned several structures were gutted by fire rendering hundreds homeless and he joins us live uh, from Agbubulushi in Accra with some updates. So we are currently at Old Fadama uh, precisely at Kakumba and it's not far from the police station. This place is within the Ablokma Central Municipality and as I speak to you now we have more than 100 houses out that have, have been raised down by fire. And this you can see on the background, the fire is still on. We are told the fire service uh, came here last night, but unfortunately they couldn't, that was the entire fire. And we still have uh, fire here. People are trying to salvage the little they can. As you can see, we can see uh, these, uh, these are some of the residents that have lost their homes to the fire and not too far from them is where you can actually see the main picture of the damage the fire has caused here we have over a thousand residents that have been rendered homeless as i speak to you now they are wondering where they will be sleeping in this period of COVID-19 where we are all uh, talking about social distancing and assistance now. They have no place to put their head. What we are being told because this fire is a misunderstanding between a husband and a wife. And the wife decided to have a side chick for himself. Unfortunately, he was caught by the wife who threatened to uh, set their house on fire. And not to uh, many minutes from what she said, the place was indeed uh, set on fire, which has affected at least not less than 100 houses here as we speak. And it's so disturbing looking at the state of this place now. We are just wondering where these residents, as you see, are going to put their eyes. But I have, one, I have with me one of their chiefs who will give us throw more light to what really happened. Chief, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Okay. So, Chief, tell me uh, exactly what uh, happened here yesterday, last night. Um, I was around seven something, mm. and I had to say, "Oh, I've been in a kunbi, and I'm not going to be able to see." Now, I'm not going to be able to see. Now, I'm not going to be able Nti Obano soon or Tiba be into all few on by Obi Hum and Pranafu Fron or Sede B. And yeah, they will be Jatum say Oba Umprano Ebeka Honum. And T Obana didn't acquashia no kunune ada woman. And Emma in Takwa by and Omukrampu say Obana says I obey my Oba Fufrona and feed them on Obey Day. Oba Fufrona and feed them on our Obey Day, Oba She, Oba Man and Obano, I would them. It is it, 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 yeah, yeah, Okay, so for the sake of time, let's leave it here this way. But what the situation here right now is that we have more than thousand of residents here who have lost their homes and they've been rendered homeless and assistants now. It looks like they would have to uh, sleep with friends. So, well, we still have fire here. I'm just trying to be very careful so I don't get myself bent. And this is what is happening here. We have some people trying to fetch water, and this is very risky and very dangerous. Let's come close to what is happening here. So, madam, I, I don't know what you What are you doing here? 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 Okay, so they still want to put off the, the, the fire because they, they are trying to save the later properties they have here. And the fire service is not here. We are told the fire service came earlier last night, but they fled. But as you can see the whole place, we still have fire that can cause more damage in here. But as I speak to you now, the fire service is not here. And the residents are trying where they can to put off or down the fire entirely. Oh, so that's uh, a situation there and an update of what happened uh, earlier. My colleague uh, Joseph Armstrong bringing us live updates of what's happening with that fire outbreak.